What's going on, Super Friends? Here on YouTube, I'm Super Dude, and I bring you episode 8, the official episode 8 of the Fantasy Draft. The episode I updated last, I put it up last time, was who all's just coming back from previous games, either in Justice 1 or who they already have in Injustice 2 that I'm bringing in. This time. You're going. You're gonna like this. This time I'm doing the eighth episode, and then I'll do nine, and I'm really excited for ten. Mmm. Yeah, I can't wait for ten. All right. Now, who is episode eight? Because the character I have listed here, you may not know. He's sort of a more obscure character in the DC universe. And as of the newest continuity, I don't know if he, excuse me, if he still exists, but I'm using him here. So, who is this character? Who are we talking about? Who who's it possibly going to be? Who could it, who could it possibly be? All right. Well, I mean, you read the title, you read the description, um, and it is Achilles War Killer. Now, who is Achilles' war killer? Um, no, maybe no one, maybe you don't know who Achilles' war killer is. And I will leave one of my favorite pictures of him in the description. He is essentially the embodiment of the hero Achilles from Greek mythology into the DC universe because they have Ares and they have Wonder Woman at their mascara. <laughs> they even have Zeus. So. I'm going to read his history, and I'm going to read his powers, because his powers are going to play a lot into how he fights. So, here we go. Seeking to replicate the success of Wonder Woman's creation, Zeus took the heart of the Hawaiian god Cain Melohai. Melohai. Cain Melohai and combined it with the divine fire of his creation and the soul of an ancient hero to create Achilles. Or excuse me, to create Achilles, war killer and leader of his Olympians comprised of Jason and the Argonauts. That's how you get the name Achilles war killer. He was Achilles, war killer, and da 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 da. <laughs> Initially set against Wonder Woman, he has great respect for her and seeks to work alongside her when possible. Though his loyalty to Zeus and the roles granted to him often conflict with that. He was placed by Zeus in the role of King of Themyscira and turned to Alcyone to help him rule, making her his queen in a purely political wedding. This arrangement was short-lived as Alcyone usurped his role as part of a plot to kill both to both kill Diana and return Hippolyta to the throne. Realizing he could not let such an act stand, he freed Diana and join her in a coup against his own queen. So, he is basically the male equivalent of Wonder Woman, is what I would say. He was made King of Themyscira, and you know that's a big deal because there was no King of Themyscira. Like, it was purely a woman's island. And his team, his team affiliations are with the gods of Olympus, uh, the Gargarians, the Amazons of the Mascarum, and the Outsiders. He is a, his alignment is good. He have, he has a secret identity. No one knows his secret identity. He is a Gargarian. His citizenship is Amazonian. Widowed, obviously. His and I'm just reading this thing. Um, occupation: adventure warrior, former king. Blonde hair, blue eyed. New Earth is is his universe. His place of birth was Thalerion. And he was created by Gail Simone and Aaron Lepresti. Cool. First appeared in Wonder Woman Volume 3, number 30, on May 2009. <laughs> Alright, so here some of his abilities. Super Strength. Um, I'm actually going to read this whole thing because I like this character. War Killer is blessed with superhuman strength sufficient enough to engage with the amazing Amazon Wonder Woman in physical combat. He was also shown 
He was also shown easily defe defeating other Amazons with physical strength alone. It is likely that, as Wonder Woman's counterpart, War Killer is among the higher tier beings in terms of strength, such as Superman and Captain Marvel. Superhuman Durability War Killer is extremely durable, capable of taking large amounts of, large amounts of blunt force trauma without injury, as shown when he took blows from Wonder Woman herself. Like Wonder Woman, however, War Killer is somewhat vulnerable to piercing weapons such as bullets and blades, though such attacks would likely not be fatal. Looking at you, Deadshot. Uh, War Killer is able to fly through the air, presumably through mysticism, so flight, superhuman speed, superhuman agility and reflexes, superhuman stamina, uh, regeneration, the heart of Kale Kilohe, 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 gives him great regenerative powers, able to heal wounds as fatal as being stabbed through the chest. Um, he has a, a clothing change ability, which enables, enables him to magically shift his clothing between civilian and armored, armored guises. And he has uh, an ability called Divine Grace, which it's an ability to avoid attacks as if he knew they were coming, making it difficult for even the most skilled foes to land a hit on him. He's an advanced hand-to-hand -hand combatant. Achilles possesses the soul and combat abilities of the ancient hero Achilles and is one of the greatest warriors who ever lived. His weaknesses are his vulnerability to piercing attacks. And Achilles' strength is proportional to his conviction in battle. When he is unsure of himself, it is lessened. Paraphernalia. What stuff does he have? The Maja. The Maja. A mystical flying elephant with three eyes and two trunks. For teleportation purposes. Okay. Um, excuse me. The Virgin Spear of Athena. A divine spear that can pierce any substance and light its head aflame. So, if, so a, fl a spear that can... Burn essentially, um, and I'm just re I'm, 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 again. I'm reading all this because this is awesome. Mm -hmm. The this character is an adaptation of Achilles, a character in traditional stories. These include, but may not be limited to, religious texts, myth, and/or folklore. More information on the original can be found at Wikipedia.org. <laughs> Diana introduced Achilles to Patrick Cleese. Um, oh, Patrick Cleese, who Achilles recognized as the reincarnation of Patroclus. Okay, so, interesting. Inter interesting stuff here. Alright, so what exactly can Achilles do in your game, Super Dude? What is his fight style? <laughs> well, I imagine him... I would design him to play very much... Um, Influ like his spear is going to be part of his move set, but it's not going to be the biggest part of his move set. Like his hand, like hand to hand combat and spear moves would be a lot of it. Um, you can enhance his spear when when you use his spear and you do and you enhance it with um, the like you can enhance moves in the game. It actually lights on fire, and the opponent actually receives burn damage from from that. But it's only through um, enhanced moves. Um, I would imagine him playing very much aggressively, very much offensively. I would he would have a lot of interesting abilities, like he would be able to heal himself um, for a certain amount of time. And then he would be able, he would have a lot of you could throw the spear you could throw this he would throw the spear down into the ground use it as a pole vault do a jumping kick his grab would be grabbing the opponent kneeling them down kneel to Achilles and then just cutting them with the spear and kicking them backwards he would uh, he would have some form of headbutt because as you guys know I love headbutts so just some form of just just something like that. He would have a lot of... I would give him a lot of mystic-based moves. Like, I would have him throw the spear, obviously, and hit him in the shoulder or something. And you can enhance it to where he throws it, runs runs at you, 
grabs a spear, kicks you in the chest, and pulls it out. So I think that would be fun. There would be a move where he charges with the spear, catches you in the gut, and then pulls back. And if you enhance it, you catch him and then flip him over and slam him into the ground. Just, just fun, just you know, fun stuff. Fun stuff he can do that you wouldn't be able to do with other characters. I would have him do a back heel kick as a joke because, you know, Achilles heel, I would have him do like a standing back heel kick where he just kind of like uh, kick, kicks him in the face with the heel. And then I would definitely have him have some form of Spartan kick, like just a standing, uh, this is not madness, this is Sparta, and then kick him in the chest. Um, that would be cool. Just, just, just fun little stuff that he can do. I wouldn't have his teleporting elephant involved. That's just me. I would have him be able to to go rather quickly. Now his, um, and this one's fun for me. Excuse me. His abil- his character ability is going to be his. Let me see. Let me see what exactly it was called. Not. Don't go to. No. No. Don't go to Patrocles. No. Sorry, my computer's freaking out on me. I don't want you to go to Patrick Cleese. His Divine Grace, that would be his character power. So his Divine Grace allows him to absorb hits for a long time. Like, you basically, he becomes in, invulnerable to every to grabs. He becomes invulnerable for a certain amount of time, allowing you to get in. Um... But afterwards, he is kind of like Bane. He become he he's in a weakened state. So, so that way, it's not an overpowered ability, and it takes a while to recharge. So, and I would have his divine. I would have his divine grace be based on how many hits he gets on, gets on the opponent. Kind of similar to Scarecrow's fear gas and Catwoman scratches, which I'll talk about later today. Or tomorrow, I would have him. Every time he does a good combo, you have a chance of increasing your meter. And once you increase your meter, you gain you gain your divine grace. You gain your divine grace, and you are there, and, and you can't be hit. Like you can, you you avoid grabs. Don't work. That kind of whole thing. I just think it'd be fun because. I'd make it last for five, ten seconds, maybe. You don't want it to go too long because that would be cheap, but I think it would be fun, especially for a character named Achilles. His super, I would have him. I would have him call upon the powers of the the Olympians. I would have him call upon like the the powers of of the. Uh, um, basically, he runs. <laughs> Throws the spear that catches him, and they're sort of standing there. Zeus throws down a lightning bolt, and it lights up the spear. And then Hades' claws come through and smack him into Achilles, who's waiting there with another spear slash. And then, bam, you have a good super move. So just incorporate a couple of, of the Greek gods into there. That's what I would do. Um, His design... Would be very much like he is, like it looks in the uh, picture in my thumbnail. Uh, just the, because I want to look to be able to describe it to you. I'm gonna look at it again, because he's got this sort of, he's got this sort of like battle uh, kilt thing with the leg, with the leg armor, the arm greaves, the the shoulder piece there with this sort of lion esque helmet. This sort of like eagle meets lion helmet thing that arches over, very much, very much like that. That's that's how I would do the character. I would love to see this character brought to DLC possibly for Injustice Three. I don't think he's going to make Injustice Two, but I think if he's mentioned enough, he could come to maybe Injustice Three as a character or a DLC at least, something like that. So that'd be some. So that'd be fun. Um, his part in the story. Is picking up the pieces left after the war of Olympia, the war of Mount Olympus. Essentially, I would have him. 
I would have him take part in the War of Mount Olympus and to see what he does in the War of Mount Olympus, tune in to my story video because that's going to be mentioned. And I will mention why he has to fight and it's really cool. So come on back for that. But this is Achilles. What do you think of my ideas? Do you like it? Do you like me pulling out some of the more obscure characters? Episode 9 is going to be a fun one, and then we're going to have an interesting little video for episode 10 that I'm really excited for that I can't wait to get to. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. You guys have been super friends. I've been super dude. This has been Achilles War Killer. War Killer. I forgot to mention he's also called the Olympian. So... That's the thing. I would have that be in his interactions. And I will mention some interactions in my story talks, and I would mention some fun little moments that the characters are going to have. <laughs> so if you're wondering about that, that's coming later. Up and away, guys.